Have you ever looked in your mouth and noticed grooves running across your teeth, like the ones in the picture above me here? If you have, or if you're noticing something as you're running your tongue around your, your mouth right now, think back to your early childhood. Were you ever really sick when you were little with something like chicken pox or measles? These are examples of stress events. And if a stress event is severe enough and occurs when our teeth are developing, it can result in a permanent change to the part of the tooth that's growing at that point in time. So our friend up here was stressed when he was around two and a half years old. Clinical research is increasingly showing an association between early life stress and later life health. However, it takes a long time to study people over the course of their lives, and clinical records don't always preserve a record of all our stress events in childhood. This is where teeth come in because it's possible to look at specific stress events in teeth from past populations and to compare this to health collected from the skeletal remains of the same individuals. This is what my research is doing using medieval Danish cemetery populations. And the medieval Danes are fascinating because they had to deal with a lot of stress. They suffered from periods of famine and diseases such as black death and leprosy. So what have I discovered so far? Basically, health is extremely complicated. Some individuals are obviously healthier than others, and this is related to stress, but in a complex way. Influential factors include the timing and duration of a stress event and individual stress response. One of the individuals in my sample is a man who lived around 700 years ago. This guy is interesting because he survived to be one of the oldest people in his village. He had a relatively stress-free childhood, and he grew to be one of the tallest people in his community. By the end of his life, he did have some pretty se severe joint trouble, but this might be expected in a guy who'd been active for at least 50 years. Did his relatively healthy childhood allow him to grow to become a robust individual later in life? How do similar circumstances influence people today? Perhaps these ancient populations can tell us not only about themselves, but can contribute to an understanding of patterns in our own health. So when you head home tonight, you can take a look in the mirror and see what tales your teeth tell. Thank you.